Good day, learners. This is week 5, problem solving involving decimal numbers. After going through this lesson, you are expected to solve routine and non-routine problems involving multiplication of decimals and mixed decimals including money using appropriate problem solving strategies. Knowing the basic concepts and procedures in multiplying decimals in different ways, we can now solve real-life problems. Learning Task 1 The chart shows a list of activities and the approximate amount of energy required for the average adult. How many calories are used by an adult who plays volleyball for 15 minutes? And this is 2 and 5 tenths times 15 equals 37 and 5 tenths. So 37 and 5 tenths minutes. How many calories are used in standing for 1 hour and washing the dishes for 10 minutes? 1 and 20 hundreds for standing times 60. Equal 72. Then, 2 and 55 hundreds for washing dishes times 10 equals 25 and 50 hundreds. Then add 97 and 50 hundreds minutes. Number 3. About how many calories used in running 20 miles, 16 and 5 tenths minutes? Just multiply 10 and 5 tenths times 20 times 16 and 5 tenths. And that is 3,465. In solving routine problems, you can use at least one of the four mathematical operations. And to help you clearly understand the problems, there are steps that you should follow. First, understand the problem and determine the given data or facts. Second, know what is being asked. Third, make the number sentence and solve. Fourth, check if your answer will satisfy the problem. Learning task 2. Solve the given problems. How many centavos are there in 125 pesos and 75 centavos? Just multiply 125 pesos and 75 centavos divided by 1 centavo. And that is 12,575. Number 2. From a roll of cotton containing 24 and 75 hundreds meters, a seller sold 9 and 85 hundreds meters at 22 pesos and 25 centavos per meter. How many meters per left? Just subtract 24 and 75 hundreds minus 9 and 85 hundreds. And that is 14 and 90 hundreds meter. Number 3. Sam can ride his bicycle a kilometer in 6 and 2 tenths minutes. At this rate, how long will it take him to ride 4 kilometers? Multiply 6 and 2 tenths times 4, and that is 24 and 8 tenths. Learning Task 3 Solving word problems involving multiplication of decimal and mixed decimal numbers with or without regrouping. Use the four step in solving word problem. Number 1. A clerk is paid 45 pesos and 25 centavos per hour for 40 hours a week. 1 and 50 hundreds times the regular rate for overtime and double the rate for a holiday. How much does the clerk get if he works overtime for 5 hours and 2 hours on holiday? What is asked? Given facts, operation to be used, 
And this is the number sentence. For solution, let's multiply 40 times 45 and 25 hundreds. For overtime hours, 339 and 375,000. And for holiday, 181. Then let's add 2,330 and 375,000. In peso, that is 2,330 pesos and 38 centavos. Number 2. A computer programmer earns a regular hourly rate at 50 pesos. If he worked 42 and 75 hundreds hours in a week, how much did he earn? What is as? Given facts. Operation to be used. Number sentence. And for solution, just multiply. And the answer is, he earned 2,137 pesos and 50 centavos in a week. Number 3, Arthur earns 1,350 pesos a day. He sets aside Ten hundreds or ten percent of this for savings. How much does he save in a, in a month? What is us? Given facts. Operation to be used. Number sentence. And for solution, just multiply. And the answer is 4,050 pesos. Number 4. Mr. Fernandez has a monthly pay of 5,450. The tax deducted from his monthly salary is 543 pesos. What is the actual pay he receives in a year? What is as? Given tax. Operation to be used. Number sentence. And solution. And the answer is 58,884. Number five. Diane works 2 and 5 tenths hours a day from Monday to Friday and 3 and 75 hundreds hours on Saturday. If he is paid 25 pesos per hour, how much does he earn in a week? What is asked? What are given? Operation to be used. Number sentence. And solution, multiply first, then add, then multiply. The answer is 406 pesos and 25 centavos. When you master how to solve routine and non-routine problems, you can also make and create your own problems by providing needed facts or data to complete a simple thought or problem. When you are creating word problems, make sure that the information needed is given to be able to solve the problem. Learning Task 4 Create your own problem using the following data. Solve your problems. Sample problem, Ephraim works in a coffee shop as a waiter. He was paid 256 pesos and 25 centavos per day. How much does he earn in a month? Solution,
letter B. In Aling Ampis fruit stand in Apple cost 15 pesos per piece. If a customer buy 24 apples, how much does the customer pay in all? And the answer is 360 pesos.